I believe the day is coming, guys. Uh, I really believe that in the not too uh, distant future that um, the metals markets are going to rise significantly. Um, I can't tell you when. I'm not an economist. I'm not a financial wizard. I'm not a financial expert. Um, all I know is from what I'm seeing and uh, the type of work I do and the business I own, I believe is a good barometer for the economy in general. Well, I, wouldn't, I shouldn't say in general. Uh, the economy at the consumer level is a good barometer. And uh, when I see people coming into the shop to sell things that, you know, you wouldn't normally see these people tr selling stuff like this because they're desperate to get the cash to pay bills. And, um, you know, I'm constant, constantly hearing about uh, how expensive everything is. And, of course, we all know that's true. But there's some things that just uh, boggle my mind and it's not making any sense. So I want to ask you this, um, this really makes no sense to me. You see uh, all these companies screaming that uh, they don't have the help, they don't have enough uh, workers, and uh, as you may have noticed, customer service, in my opinion, has gone down terribly at uh, a lot of these businesses. But what, but what doesn't make any sense is to me and probably to most of you, um, especially with the young generation, and is how are they not working? I mean, how are people living and not going to work? Uh, I, I just, I don't understand. How do you pay your bills? How do you pay your bills if you're not working? Where's the money coming from? Is it just something with the, you know, the way society is now, I mean, parents are taking care of their kids until they're 40. I mean, I don't get it, but I, I, I see it all the time. And uh, unfortunately, I see it with some of my customers, the young ones, uh, they're just, you know, they're coming in to sell whatever grandma left them or their parents give them to get cash. And uh, why aren't they working? You know, there's jobs, apparently a lot of jobs out there. Um, I don't think they're necessarily high paying jobs but there's jobs and uh all i know is you know my generation and really the generation older than me i mean you went to work um you know my parents generation you know you go to work even my generation i mean if you get a cold and you're not bedridden you go to work your back hurts you go to work and it, it just seems like Something has changed in society, um, and uh, you know it's lacking backbone. And I'm afraid for uh, this country specifically. I don't know what about the other Western nations. It's probably a problem there too, but uh, the future of this country. So all the writings on the wall uh, in regards to what's coming down the road. Um, I believe sooner or later it's all going to collapse. And uh, at that point, you better have what you need to survive. And I'm not trying to paint a real doomsday scenario because I'm really not a doomsday guy. Uh, I hear a lot, of, a lot of conspiracies in my store every day. But, you know, I like to see, you know, evidence of this. And the only evidence I see, well, there's quite a bit of it, uh, in regards to the economy and the amount of printing going on and uh, 
the amount of consumer debt is uh, you know crazy. It's at you know, all time levels, and the price of uh, uh, housing and mortgages and rent and everything else, food, and the people that somehow are paying these prices still, I don't know, you know, where they're getting the money from. And then you got the old, the, the whole other section of people that uh, aren't even working, and somehow they're getting by. I mean, I don't know how you live like that. But to me, the writing's on the wall. Um, I think eventually silver and gold and probably a lot of the other metals are going to skyrocket. I mean, this is my opinion, but, uh, you know, I'm just going by what I can see and the evidence from a guy who's just, you know, a normal guy, an average guy. Uh, I don't think I'm a genius or anything like that. It just, it's just, it's just there. It's in front of your face. You can see what's happening. And, um, so far, nothing's really happened major yet. And the metals markets are kind of in a in the doldrums. You know, they're just in a range and they're just kind of stuck. They don't seem like they're moving. Um, I know historically, specifically silver, it moves very slowly. I think that will, that will change eventually. Um, I don't think this can go on that much longer. Of course, I don't know. I wish I knew the future because I'd be a very wealthy man if that were true. But uh, this is just my belief. And uh, I really like hearing from you guys in the comments because uh, a lot of you are real smart about some of these this subject. And um, I'm curious to know what you think. Uh, do you think I'm right? Are you seeing the same things? Um, I'm pretty sure most of you are. But there's a lot smarter people out there, out there than me, and I'm just curious to know what you would think about it. And uh, I would say, uh, my opinion, it's a great idea to get yourself some gold and silver if you haven't already. I know a lot of you are already long-time silver and gold stackers, but I think it's a, it, with what's probably coming, I think it's a really good idea to uh, you know keep adding to that. You know, of course, whatever you can afford, and um, be prepared because it looks like it's coming eventually here and uh, it's really all I had to say so please uh, leave some comments about this video and um, or what you think actually and uh, please like and subscribe as well you know I've said this over and over but it does help the channel and I appreciate it thank you and have a great day